Good God morning. Hey, what's up, everybody? The sun is out in Washington, D.C. I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful. Holy Father, let's see if I can tag some people. Oh, yes, I can. I am grateful. God is good and always is. Life is great, grand, and beautiful. We are here as we are every day at 6.30. I started doing this at, on Sundays too, right? Uh, life is good. I am grateful. So let's do a little prayer in here. I right? just start the morning out worshiping and praising the soul creator. Of everything and everybody. Life is fabulous. In my world. So I invite you to my world today. As I always do. I like my friends to know my friends. And I consider myself a friend. I support. I help you. I assist you. I share what I know and believe is truth. I am just, you know, it is just a wonderful place to be living today for me. So we come here every day. Thank you, God, uh, to do one more lesson to get free from angst and anxiety and all that error thinking that we take as part of our life. You know, as we think it, so it be. Who is that? Allen. What is his name? James Allen. As a man thinketh, also as a woman thinketh, as a teenage thinketh, we create our world by the things we believe to be true. Right? Just things that we believe to be true. That are not necessary. The truth, they may be a fact, but they're not a truth. There's a difference between truth and the truth. The truth is, the creator has all. And knows all, does all, is all. How many of you have heard that song, The Creator Has a Master Plan, by uh, Saunders? What is his name? I'm forget. I'm remembering songs and books and forgetting who authored them. The Creator Has the Master Plan. And yes, he does. He desires us to be happy joyous and free but our mind wants to say something different to us every day all day always ask yourself like I do I ask myself is that the truth is that the truth or is that just a fact it doesn't necessarily have to be the truth but it's a fact so I am just inviting some people in and I realize it's early in the morning most people are either getting ready for work or getting uh, still sleepy. Some of us are up praising, praying, and meditating. I've been up for a while this morning because I, I kind of went to bed really early last night. fell asleep. So I've been up for a minute. It's about three. But it's all good. You know, it's all good. Everything is good. Life is fantastic. So anyway, I've invited some people who want to share this out. Share it on your page so those people who wake up and see you. They can just come in and be, right? I'm done. Hey, oh, I got some folks. Hey, Tawana, how are you? Hey, Eric, my, I love you share this out. So, today's lesson, right? 
Oh, let's pray first. Father God, thank you for raising us up, for allowing us to breathe one more time, for allowing us to see your world through your eyes, for allowing us to make that conscious connection with you, for allowing us to study A Course in Miracles to give us freedom and control, or not even control, but to see our world differently. There are many facts that show up in our life, but they don't necessarily have to be the truth because we realize that thoughts and mind produce in kind. If we see that with the eye of man, it may become a fact, but if we see in the eyes of God, we can just erase those error thoughts and come into your thoughts. For you created us to be happy, joyous, and free. And I bless everyone that they may arrive at this space and time where life is so beautiful that they can't stop smiling, even when it hurts. That we accept things as fact and change our emotions about it. Father God, we are grateful for this awakening state of being. And we are as you created us. Yes. Hey, Elsie, how are you, sweetie? Have a great day. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for being here with me. I love you. I love you. I love you. So today we are doing a Course in Miracles lesson 110. I am as God created me. Hmm. and breathe and I suggest that whenever something comes up that doesn't feel so great remind yourself I am as God created me A Course in Miracles is a book that has helped me change my experience with this thing called life okay? with this thing called life for we are spiritual beings having a human experience. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. And sometimes that human experience can give us pain and illness, and, which might be a fact, but we don't have to accept that because God created us to be healthy, wealthy, wise, free, joyous, That brings to mind that song by Pharrell. You know, I am happy. Happiness is living in a world without a ceiling. Right? I wish I could play it for you, but Facebook will take me off and say, oh, I'm using someone else's music that I do not have ownership to, which I don't. But uh, it isn't great. Right. So two songs this morning I was listening to uh, I Am Touched by a Rose by Seal and then Pharrell, Happy and then The Creator Has a Master Plan which I love just, I don't know love that by Pharrell Sanders The Creator Has a Master Plan So let's begin our lesson so that we may go on our day and share this out, like it, put it on your page. I am as God created me. Say this to yourself, say it out loud. I am as God created me. Mm. Thank you. Thank you for creating me as you are. So we, we will repeat today's last idea from time to time throughout the day. For this one thought, would be enough to save you and the world if you believe that it is true. Its truth would mean that you have made no changes in yourself that have reality. I am as God created me, nor changed the universe so that what God created was replaced by fear and evil, misery and death. 
If you remain as God created you, fear has no meaning. Evil is not real, and misery and death do not exist. Ooh, I am as God created me. Today's idea is therefore all you need to let complete correction, healing, heal your mind. All you need to say is I am as God created me. Whew, just breathe. Today's idea is therefore all you need to let correction heal your mind and give you perfect vision that will heal all mistakes that any mind has made that at any time or place. It is enough to heal the past and make the future free. Mm, doesn't that feel good? Give me some thumbs up if that feels good to you. To imagine that you can correct all error thinking just by saying, I am as God created me. It is enough to let the present be accepted as it is. It is enough to let time be the means for all the world to learn, escape from time. And every change that time appears to bring in passing. I am as God created me. If you remain as God created you, appearances cannot replace the truth. Health cannot turn to sickness, nor can death be substituted for life or fear for love. Mm. All this has not occurred. If you remain as God created you, you need no thought but just this one. I am as God created me. To let redemption come to light the world and free it from the past. Can you ask for freedom? I am as God created me. That makes me feel so happy. If you remain as God created you, appearances cannot replace the truth. Health cannot replace sickness. It will free you from the past. In this one thought, all in this one thought is all the past undone, the present saved to quiet extents into the timeless future. If you are as God created you, then there has been no separation from your mind, from his. See, we have all that angst and anxiety because our mind wants to separate us from the creator. I am as God created me. No split between your mind and other minds and all unity within your own. So we are united in God's consciousness. I am as God created me. The healing power of today's idea is limitless. It is the birthplace of all miracles, the great restorer of truth to the awareness of the world. Practice today's idea with gratitude with happiness, with joy. I am as God created me. This is the truth that comes to set you free. Oh God, freedom. Thank you, thank you, thank you for freedom. I am as God created me. Let this truth that God has promised you, this is the word in which all sorrow is. So, for five minutes, practice the practice periods begin this quotation. And it's from the text, A Course in Miracles. I am as God created me. His son cannot suffer nothing. I am his son. Breathe. Yes. Listen. I am. As God created me. His son can suffer nothing. And I am 
his son. Yes, yes, I am. I am his son. Therefore, I can do no suffering. I am as God created me. Then, with this statement firmly in your mind, try to discover in your mind the self who is the Holy Son of God himself. See yourself as God created you. See yourself as his son. Therefore, you can have no suffering. Seek him within you who is Christ in you, the son of God, the brother to the world, the savior who has for been, has been forever saved. We are. With power to save whoever touches him. However, lightly ask for the word that tells him he is brother unto you. Mm. You are as God created you today. Honor yourself. Let grieve graven images you made to be the son instead of what he is be worshipped not today so those things that you thought you were don't even give them a second thought I am as God created me deep in your mind the Holy Christ is in you is waiting for you to acknowledge him as you. You are lost and do not know yourself while he is unacknowledged and unknown. Seek that Christ inside of you. I am as God created me. I am the brother of Jesus. I am as God created me. I am God's son. And daughter, right? They always talk about the masculine, but it also includes us ladies. Seek him today and find him. He will be your savior from all idols you have made, from everything outside of self, outside of God. We worship those things sometimes because we forget. I am as God created me. I am the son of God. I am his child. He desires nothing but the best. We will remember him throughout the day with thankful hearts and loving thoughts for all who meet us today. For it is thus that we remember him and we will say, that we may be reminded of his son, our holy self, the Christ in each of us. I am as God created me. I am as God created me. I am as God created me. Say it with love. Feel it coming from you. Feel that belief of truth, the truth. I am as God created me. No matter what shows up, no matter how you might interpret it or misinterpret it, remind yourself constantly, all day long, I am as God created me. Let us declare this truth as often as we can. This is the word of God that sets us free. This is the key that opens up the gate of heaven and that lets you enter it. In the peace of God and his serenity. I am as God created me. I am as God created me. When you come across those things that bring angst and anxiety to your being, erase it immediately by saying, I am as God created me. Yes. I am Rosa J, doing it God's way each and every day. And I thank you for sharing this. I thank you for listening. I thank you for saying this. Because once this truth comes into you, it will just overwhelm everyone and everything that you go through today and any other day. Hey, Joy. 
So I am as God created me. This is your key to freedom. This is your key to joy, happiness, prosperity, abundance, love, peace, harmony with all that exists in this thing called life. Remember, I am a spiritual being having a human experience and I can change it in an instant just by reminding me, myself and I, I am as God created me that's it, that's all just those words six words today, remind yourself all day throughout the day I am as God created so like my YouTube channel, go to I Am Affirmations, Rosa J on Facebook. It's actually I Am Rosa J on Facebook. Read the entire lesson. See the video. Share it on your page. Someone needs or should be reminded, I am as God created me. Have a good God day. Know that I love you. Namaste. I shall see you tomorrow. Be infinitely blessed. Hey, Audrey, how are you? How's life doing? So remind yourself all day today, I am as God created me. Namaste. Have a good God day. Life is excellent if you see and seek the truth. Okay, breathe. I'll see you in the morning. Be ever so blessed. Remind yourself, I am as God created me.